This video will cover 11 doctrines of the devils regarding how to be saved. I'll start out with 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, very important message, which says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The bottom line that seducing spirits and devils have influenced some people to teach a false gospel. Let's start out with the basics. We know we're saved by grace, Ephesians 2.8, which says, For by grace are you saved through faith. We know the saving gospel is defined at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4, which is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It doesn't have any human performance there, except that humans are supposed to believe the gospel. It's so simple. And a lot of verses in the Bible reflect this simplicity including Romans chapter 10, verse 13, which says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Pretty direct and pretty simple. The bottom line, many have departed from the faith and are teaching doctrines of devils. Now, they might be well-meaning people, but they're deceived and they're confused. First doctrine of the devil. Lost people are told they must turn from their sins before they trust Jesus, as is a very popular saying, but it's not true. It is an attempt to get a lost person to clean up their life, which is works. We know works are not required for eternal life. Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, we do know that a lost person must turn from one sin to be saved, and that's unbelief in Jesus. Take a look at John chapter 16, verse 8 and 9. Second doctrine of the devil. A lost person is told they must repent of their sins, multiple sins, before they trust in Jesus. That's similar to our first doctrine of the devil. That's get, trying to get people to clean up their lives before they trust Jesus. That is works. Now, we know that a lost person must repent of one sin to be saved. That's unbelief in Jesus. Third doctrine of the devil. Way too many churches teach that church rituals or ceremonies are required to have eternal life. The most popular uh, church ritual is or ceremony is water baptism. Now we know that that is a work because Jesus tells us this at Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You can see water baptism and other rituals. They are good works. Fourth doctrine of the devil. Some churches are very open and brazen about teaching that works are required for eternal life. Of course, we've already seen from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 that that's not true. Also take a look at 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9 and Titus 3, 5. The fifth doctrine of the devil. Very popular phrase. A lot of people are deceived by this. Lost people are told that they must give their life to Jesus to be saved. Eternal life is a free gift. You don't give anything for a free gift. You receive the free gift. Also, lost people are dead in trespasses and sins. Take a look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, and Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. There's nothing in a lost person's life that they could possibly give to Jesus, that Jesus could use to save that lost person from their own sins. You are saved by a life. It's the life of Jesus. Look at Romans chapter 5, verse 10. Now, if that phrase, you must give your life to Jesus to be saved, is false, other similar phrases are also false and doctrines of the devil, such as a lost person must surrender their life to Jesus to be saved. A lost person must commit their life to Jesus to be saved. A lost person must turn their life over to Jesus to be saved. The life of a lost person cannot save from sin. The next doctrine of the devil, you must keep the Ten Commandments. Well, that's obviously works, and there's no person on earth that can keep the Ten Commandments every day and every thought, word, and deed, every minute of every day and every thought, word, and deed. It just can't happen. Next doctrine of the devil, you must obey all the commandments of Jesus. That's works also. Once again, nobody can keep all the commands of Jesus every day 
in every thought, word, and deed, every minute of every day. It's impossible to attain. The last doctrine of the devil, and I can't go over each one. It'd take too long. There are false Jesuses out there that are not the Jesus of the Bible. Let's review the Jesus of the Bible. Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He went to the cross, died for our sins. He was buried and rose from the dead. That's the Jesus that we must believe in. Now, the most direct question and answer in the Bible on how to be saved is at Acts chapter 16, verse 30 and 31, which says, What must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. If anybody out there is teaching a way to heaven besides putting their faith, belief, trust in Jesus and him alone and nothing else, they are engaged in teaching a doctrine of the devil.